What's up guys? Hey, I have got an influx of subscribers. I've gotten 5,000 subscribers in just a few days and I appreciate each and every one. Hey, listen, if you're the first, you know, if you're a new subscriber here on the channel, we do mostly, you know, small engines. We'll do tool reviews. Uh, shoot, we'll work on anything that I think will help you. But anyway, behind me here, is a Land Pride side by side. Uh, the customer states he's had it worked on several different shops, couldn't figure it out. So it's here at the Mower Medic One Shop, and we're going to dig into this thing. But however, I've got it diagnosed, and I'm just going to jump right into this repair because, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to show you how I personally love to repair wiring on machines like this. Now, what you're fixing to see is an absolute monstrosity, just a mess. Uh, they, the, somebody's tried to repair it in the past and failed miserably. Let me show you. This little side-by-side -side is powered by a V-twin Honda. And as you can tell, here is the voltage regulator and take a look at those wires right there those were somebody had butt connected all of these wires together and they got hot here's one of the connectors and it's just absolutely burnt to a crisp this particular engine puts out a good amount of amperage to charge the battery 20 amps and these little puddle jumper connectors just can't handle that kind of amperage so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically solder and heat shrink all of these connections so we're gonna hardwire this I'm gonna do away with the connector that's gonna be the best repair for this and I'm gonna show you guys the little connectors that I like to use. These little connectors are called shrinking solders. And uh, I tell you what, <clears throat> I love to use these. They actually have the little blue part is a, a seal. And right in the center here is the low temperature solder. And whenever you slide this over your wires and you apply just a little bit of heat from a heat gun, it shrinks the you know the heat shrink around it and it also makes it to where it solders your wires together let's give it a try all right so once you know where all your wires go you're going to take your connector and you're just going to slide it over the wire and you'll take the what you're wanting to go together with it, you're going to take those wires and you're gonna to try to interlace those the best you can. Kind of like, you know, like this. And then we're gonna twist those together as best you can. And then we're gonna slide the wiring or the connector up through and we're gonna center this heat shrink, the tubing or the, the solder over between your two connectors. And now we're gonna apply a little bit of heat. Alrighty guys, I've got this set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat gun. And let's apply a little heat to this. I like to do the outsides and then work my way towards the middle. Let that get warmed up. And once that 
solder melts, it'll just drop in. And then you're good to go. Just like that there. Alrighty, <clears throat> we got all of these power wires and input and output wires done up here and it looks pretty doggum good to me this particular doesn't this particular regulator or this machine didn't use the black and yellow stripe wire it just went to a uh, a blank sp spot in the original harness so we're going to get this thing cranked up and i'm going to show you that it's now charging the whole issue was the harness from the voltage regulator was basically just burnt up. factory connector has burned up and somebody's replaced it with butt splices and those burn up then something tells me that having a spade style connector there is not a good idea this is not overcharging it's charging exactly where it needs to be at like 14 14 5 14 2 somewhere in there but anyway guys hey if this helped you out, I want you to give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And everything that I used today in this video, I'm going to link it uh, in, the, in the description and I'm going to post it in the comments. Catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.